I broke out his fucking coffee, noob. All right, this Celtics. Bradley long. Beal is considering a trade request. How aggressively <laughs> should the Celtics pursue a deal? Don't pursue know. a deal. How much is too much to give up? Any is too much. He's obviously. What if they give him a bag of chips? Actually, mm, it's gonna be a good bag of chips. <laughs> if it's the last bag, what kind of chips? Yeah. There's a lot of questions to go into that. But give anyways, him the chili cheese Fritos that'll convince him. No, give him the Eddie, he's, Those are delicious. Odds, odds are he's gonna come here in free agency next year. I have a hard time seeing us not as the number one destination. So I gut your team, giving up a ton of guys for some of you can just sign the next previous season, next season. Rebuttal. <laughs> if the Celtics were to sign him, if the Celtics were to sign him next year, would would be tearing apart our team anyway. No, we because we'd have, have to cut seven dudes. We'd have to cut literally like everyone to create room for him. We're gonna have room because if we like if we make smart decisions this season, got sign bets to cheap one year deals, then they'll open up cap space for next season. Trade smart maybe. No, um, there's, there's one Bradley there's Beal. one guy that is putting a wrench in that plan. His name is Evan Fournier. He's not beats. signing Evan Fournier. He's not that good. If you got it, if you get Evan Fournier for twenty mil, I'd be so mad at Brad. It doesn't have to be twenty mil if you sign him any more than a one year deal, which we're going to. He's going to demand that. That'll throw a wrench in the whole plan. Then don't sign Fournier. I'd rather have Beal than You Fournier. can't bet on a free agent. Like, our team, we have too good of a players. We can't punt on a year because we don't want to sign Evan Fournier. Listen, we're not going to punt on a year. We're not going to be competitive anyway. Because the Brooklyn still exists. What? You don't You can it? never punt you on a year. You suck. We have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, and we have potential to build a good team. Hey, hey, oh, does, does, the Bro- does the Brooklyn Nets still not exist? Smurf? No, Big Al and Grant Williams. Big Al. I forgot Grant about Big Williams Al. Grant Williams is going to be making his all-star <laughs> leap this year. You sleeping on uh, Neesmith? Uh, he's not no random. I'm not sleeping on him. He's going to Washington. He needs his... Do you think he's getting traded for real? I think we're going... I think we should trade, like, all our, like, young depth pieces for Brad Beal. We don't have any good young depth pieces, yeah, that's though. We that's have the decent thing. young depth. We have... We would have... We'd go from little depth to no depth. So what we'd have three the only thing that Washington would probably want in a trade... Is Jalen Brown? What pick do we have in the draft this year? We traded. We don't it. have one. <laughs> oh, we don't. We traded it for. Uh, we we traded, traded it to get rid of Kemba's dumbass contract. We have to get Allen <laughs> Moses Brown. Moses Brown is a nice pickup. I I'm like Moses Brown. I think the best way we get Beal is if he's like, look, I really want to go to the Celtics, and they're the only team I can guarantee I'll resign with next year. In that case, the other teams might back off. We still have to give up a ton. Yeah. yeah. We still have to give up a ton, but like... It's not like they're going to change the price. I think it's worth it. He's, he's still worth it, though. It's yeah, but Beal. I think getting him now is worth it. Hypothetically speaking, what could you even give up for Beal? Sign trade Rob Williams, Marcus Smart, Rob Williams already signed Aaron D. Smith, Romeo, picks. Oh, good. So we but go from little depth to no depth. even add up? That's yeah, we still thing. have a wrench in the plan. What do you mean wrench in the plan? Because we still have no... We still wouldn't have room for him. Because all those guys are on cheap contracts. The only person... Tristan Thompson. That's like ten million. I'm making twenty. Uh, no, million. no, because Smart and Thompson alone combined over twenty mil. Isn't Smart making like six mil a year? He's making thirteen. I thought he was making six. No, mil he's making still. thirteen. So you're saying you? T- Wait, what did you? What was your potential package it's be again? Like all our young pieces, bro. Th- that's, but then you add Marcus and Tristan. So, Rob, I think would be a sign in trade. So maybe put him at like fifteen, maybe. If the what Wizards want him for that, and he'll accept that. Um, or maybe I don't know. I. Sign, I, sign and trade Fournier, maybe? I, I just know. don't see the point of it because you're going to be a poor man's Brooklyn net where you have two, or sorry, three good three. players who, like, obviously aren't as good as Brooklyn's big three, I'd say. That could change over time. Maybe they can stay healthier than them. Well, yeah, they can stay healthier Brooklyn's than big them. Brooklyn's getting old. But Bro- would be young. But Bro- yeah, Brooklyn be also fast. has a better bench than the Celtics. Yeah. Because we'd have no... We literally just traded our whole bench. If we right? kept that big three we'd intact for a while, that'd be sick. Wouldn't yeah. we have to get rid of Fournier, though, to do that trade? Not necessarily. I'm fine with trading away. But then you'd also we... have to get rid of Big Al somehow. No. To keep nope. Fournier. So all these guys nope. making over 20 nope. mil can still We have Fournier's bird rights. What does that mean again? What are the bird rights? We can go over the cap to sign him. Um, you can resign your own players with going over the cap. The bird race. <coughs> Named after Larry Bird. I don't know why, but that's, that's the shit. What's the Pacers doing shit? Yeah, but I'd rather just wait until free agency. I feel like there's a hard time seeing I feel like it would be a hard time seeing him go to anywhere else. Him and Tatum are such boys. That's like, that's the big reason I really want him now and risk losing him later. I think 
my big fear, you guys know this, I am so worried that Tatum's going to leave in a few years because our team has been kind of dysfunctional in the last few years. I think I will, want stability and happiness for Jason Tatum. I think it would make things worse that if we traded everything for him, we brought him here for one year, and then we lose him in free agency. I think that would make Tatum mad. I don't think we'd lose him. That's the thing. But, you should, but what if they did? I think I, I think, think I think we trade either. him, and he'll be happy to be with Tatum. We got to ink him to an extension right when he comes here, and I think he'll take it. Can I just say 